Right, I know, I know, I know. I really should be telling you guys more about what I've been doing with the T4 and what I haven't been doing with the T4 because it's been a bloody long time. But come outside and see my new purchase. Look, Mom! No hands! I don't think you're quite ready. Ta da! The new work van. So I've ended up buying Bungles T5 which used to be the Tamar Wheels uh, promotional vehicle. Uh, James came over the other weekend and we had some beers and we ended up striking a deal. So here it is. It is a 2006 1.9 TDI T5 on Raven Hydraulics. Loads of suspension work done, sitting really low. It drives mint to be honest, but it's not my van and it never will be looking like this so i'm going to put my own little spin on it and uh tell you guys bloody hell son tell you guys today what the plans are with the van and what we're going to be doing in the near future so first of all with the interior i've actually already gone and got a couple of bits of trim for the dash that it was missing it's got this rank horrible seat in it so we're going to be putting just the standard seats in for now because i need to get my daughter and stuff in here and then the back I'm pretty much going to be leaving this for now, just going to be focusing on the outside. But yeah, it's got like a pallet wood interior, and then you've got the Raven hydraulics under there. Uh, it's got a little bit of insulation and stuff, I think, but most of it will probably be coming out in the future. So to be honest, most of the time I'm going to be focusing on this outside at the moment. So I'm going to be keeping the wheel colour and the roof colour, but we're going to be getting rid of the red, and I'm going to go in for like a deep brown. And then I'm going to be commercial blacking all the bumpers. I've actually got a new front bumper because this one's been doctored a little bit. So I want to put my own spin on it and uh, try and make my own. I'm all, I am actually going to be getting rid of this exhaust as well because that wing is pretty chuffed, as you can see. So I'm going to put in standard exhaust underneath, sorting that wing out, just clean it up a little bit if I'm honest. Because underneath it's actually quite a straight van. It's got a little ding there and there but other than that it's just one on the tailgate right let's get into it let's get some of this plastic painted i think i can't really paint the outside of the van yet because i need to get rid of this exhaust so i'm going over to carl's house tomorrow because he has given me an exhaust for that and a driver's seat which is sick so yeah let's get this plastic off get it in the workshop get it primed get that painted and see if it changes the look I am loving this thing already. It drives so good. It gets so much attention. It's going to be bloody good for my joinery company. I've got the new bumper there, so I'll be telling you what I'm doing with that. And I actually mocked up a panel here and painted it the other day. So that, I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera, is the chocolate brown I'm going to be going. This is Montana Gold graffiti paint with a UV resistant varnish over the top, which I 1500 gritted back and polished. I don't think that is too bad to be honest so if I can get the van looking like that I'll be amazed this is the paint here so it's an acrylic based graffiti paint and then I've used a UV resistant varnish here which set really hard and really smooth to be honest from from like stock what we're doing with the bumpers is we've got their plastic primer which we're going to be using here so I've just um, keyed up all the paint Give it a good key with that. I've given it a couple of coats of this primer spray. And then I'm gonna be going over with their matte black range now. And let's see how that turns out. So that's the can of matte black on there going off. So we're gonna go outside. I'm not actually taking the back bumper off. I'm just gonna mask it up and paint it. It doesn't really matter if it goes on the van because I'm painting that anyway. But I'm gonna take the wing mirrors off, do those as well. And then maybe Google how to sort the front bumper because it's probably not gonna be two cable ties like the T4. Oh, it's 
one coat of black done on the back already looking pretty nice doing the door cards as I go as well and uh, I actually don't know how to take the mirrors off I've tried but there's loads of electrics on it and as we all know I'm just a dumb T4 boy so I don't know I might paint them in place see if I've got any masking tape and then that front bumper is drying at the moment oh my god it looks so much better already can't wait to see this thing poo brown it's gonna look hilarious you're either gonna love it or you hate it and I know lots of people like how it looks now and so do I to be honest but if you're pissed off that I changed it you should have bloody bought it my van now all right let's get painting two coats on the bumper we've got one on the wing mirrors two coats on that we've got one coat on this bumper here which is dry and amazing so I'm going to give that another coat now and then hopefully that will be ready to go on in a minute now while all that's drying I suppose I can go outside take the masking tape off the back because that's had two thick coats and it had the primer underneath let that dry, raise up the front, and then get on YouTube, figure out how the hell to get this front bumper off. Because if it's anything like those wing mirrors, I ain't doing too well. I'm used to the old analog beasts. Right, let's get in it. Well, that was an absolute nightmare to get off. All the bolts were rounded, so I ended up getting the grinder on it and throwing molten plastic at myself. Let's bumper off, let's get the new one out and see how it looks. cable tying the tops on because I'm going to have to take this off again when I paint it and for ease of access but it looks very commercial the Caraval colour coded one definitely suited the red but I think this is going to suit the brown real nice fog lights I just thought I could use the Caraval ones but they don't fit so I'm going to have to get a good hole saw for those so I'm going to leave the fog lights off for now but yeah let's get this finished get it wrapped up and get home Right, compared to how it looked before, that looks insane. Let's proper tidy that up. I'm happy with that. Sick. Right, we better paint over the word the back as well, because uh, <laughs> the only person that's going to like that too much. Let's unscrew that now.
I got it all. Right, some bits on the way. So I've just got the front bumper back on, got the door cards on, click the mirror glass back in, all those bits, and it looks so different to how it looked before. Like, I loved the way it looked, but this, I think it's gonna work so well with the brown paint. And it kind of works all right with the red, if you're honest. Right, let's have a look. So there it is, it looks a lot more commercial with the black bumpers. Really, clean the look of the van up so when imagining that's brown it's going to look incredible to my taste anyway it looks so good so black commercial bumper on there done with the plastic primer and then the matte black same with the wing mirrors did the door cards as well made those look a lot tidier and then around the back obviously black the rear bumper has just made that look so sick i can't wait to paint the van now so hopefully get that exhaust on standard seats in wing on get that painted right that's going to be it for this episode guys not a very long one and i'm only going to be doing like little snippets of what we're doing here but yeah it's not a massive build like i said i didn't build the van tamar wheels did and then bungles taken care of for the last six years so i'm just going to be painting it tying it up a little bit yeah until next time guys see you later